Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again. This is the final video in the Building a Markdown blog with React series. And in this video, we're just going to uh, deploy our blog to GitHub pages. So if you go to the documentation on uh, the Create React App website, under a section called Deployment, it actually tells you how to do this, right? Just go down to the section called GitHub pages. First, what you'll need to do, though, is you'll need to actually create a repository. And I created one called React Markdown Blog. And once you do that, you can start following the, um, the directions in the, uh, the Create React App documentation uh, GitHub Pages section. But first, actually, take a look at your project and of course hopefully you've uh, initialized this as a git project if you type in git remote dash v all right you probably won't see anything i can actually remove mine Now I don't have a, a remote origin anymore. And yours, you should, if you just created your uh, repository now, it should be the same for you. So to actually add uh, your repository's uh, URL as a remote origin so that you can push to your GitHub repository from your local machine, you can just click on the cloner download button and then copy that URL. And then just do git remote add origin and then paste in that URL okay and then now if you do git remote dash v you should see that you can push your code to that repository because that origin has been established okay so back to the create react app documentation page so the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to create a field in your uh, package.json file called home page. And I've already done that. All right, and I've put in there, all right. So you have to enter the information in, in a special way in your URL. So you could just copy this right, and you could paste it in there. And what you'll need to do is add your GitHub username that's mine and then your repository name here and mine was react markdown blog all right and then what you'll need to do is you'll need to install as a dependency github pages and they give you the code here i usually install it as a dev dependency so that's what i would do you only need it for building your um, your project so that you can deploy it. All right, so you install GitHub Pages. And once you do that, make sure that it's there as a dependency, and it is for me. Okay, and then you'll need a couple of scripts right, to add to your other scripts. One will be pre-deploy. So you'll have to add that to your scripts in your package.json file. And the other one will be deploy. Okay, and then the last thing you'll need to do is just right, run that deploy script. So we can do npm run deploy. And hopefully we don't get any errors, cross our fingers. It may take a minute to build it and then publish it. 
Okay, it says it's published. I don't see any errors. Good, so what I can do now is I can go to my repository settings page. And if I scroll down to the GitHub pages section, it says your site is ready to be published, but actually you have to wait until you get a uh, check mark and then uh, the background is green. So we can refresh the page. There we go. So once we click on this, we should, if all was done correctly, see our, um, our blog display in the browser. But remember, I told you that I built in uh, something to the, I built in a problem to this uh, project so that we could fix it and you could see not to use that mistake in the future using React Router. So we go here and we see that we've got a blank white page. It is our app, right? It's actually saying here that it's React app. So all that's happening is that the uh, page content is not rendering. So what you'll need to do is go back into your project, your project's index.js uh, file and change browser router to hash router. And then one more time, run your deploy script. And wait for it to build and publish. And here, let's go back to the settings page scroll down to the github pages part and we'll see again it's not ready the green check mark is not there the background is not green here so you have to wait a little bit still not ready yet okay it says it's ready now so we go to the page sometimes this happens you'll have to refresh it but there you go, and there is your um, your blog displayed on the web so that other people can view it. Right? And it works as it should. All right, we click on the About page, we see the About page. We click on a post title and we go to that individual posts page. We click on the Read More and we go to that individual post page again. Right? And it works for all of the posts. All right, now at this point you may be wondering uh, how this all works or how it all gets rendered and basically there's a you know the build script for create react app does all the work for you and if you look in your project at the top you'll see that there's now a build folder in that project right and it has all of your minified JavaScript files that are all bundled together right and you can see that in one of the files your JSON um, file your, your post list data has all been uh, bundled in there so that you can access it and display your blog post pages dynamically and if you're interested you can explore that all right but for now uh, that's a success we've finished this series of videos and I hope that you understand how it's not necessary to use a platform like say Gatsby to build a markdown blog you could do it on your own just using some simple javascript and again that's not a slam on gatsby because i use it most of the time myself and it's a nice tool to reach for but sometimes you want to keep things simple and it's nice to know uh, how to manipulate things using just basic javascript if you become over dependent on Re and react too as well if you become over dependent on react or a platform like gatsby you know you can become rusty when it comes to your basic JavaScript skills. I mean, who knows if you're going for a, dev, a web developer job, they might give you a test just to see how good you are at using vanilla JavaScript to do things like build a simple uh, web page. But anyway, um, like I said, I, I hope this has helped you. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below the video description. And I, I will uh, see you in the next series of video tutorials. So as always, cheers.